Hello. Hey, Jessica. It's Dolly. How Hi. are you? Good. Thank you. Good, good, good. Is this a good time? Yes. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica for those that are new here. Um, today is a really exciting day for us because today we get to find out if our pregnancy is viable. So I'm about to go get labs done right now. Um, and I'm super excited because although we started with a really, really good number, um, it was 221 in case you didn't see that because this beta level will let us know if everything's progressing the way that it should be. And if so, I get to schedule an ultrasound. So I had my initial blood draw on a Friday and today's Monday so it's been three days normally they want two days but two days fell on a weekend so couldn't do that um, and you know just that extra day of waiting is like nerve-wracking uh, so I'm glad that Monday is here and we get to find out but I've already been having some symptoms so this last weekend I was pretty tired all weekend really I slept a lot and I don't know if it's way too early but I seriously felt nauseous um, not consistently but like if I hadn't eaten anything I felt like I was going to vomit so I was snacking a lot but I mean that's really it so super early I know but I thought I would share that with you but enough talking I'm gonna go in Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Sorry, hold on. And it is rising beautifully. Oh, okay. So you're, yes. So your HCG level today is 743. So really great rise from your initial level of 220. So this is really good. Okay, you said 743? Correct, 743. 743. Okay. I was just worried okay. that you hadn't gotten them because they were so busy and 
I was just, I was like, yeah, we just got it just oh. now. So that that's really, it's taken all day. They are so overwhelmed over there. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, the wait was like an over an hour just to get them done. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. I'm hearing that from a lot of patients. <laughs> I've been having a couple of patients go over to Interpath because evidently you yeah. can just walk right in and walk oh. out over there. So, um, yeah. I have That's a question like two three days ago i spotted very very lightly like it only i only when i was inserting the vaginal suppository is that normal i haven't okay. spotted since yeah so sometimes that progesterone can be a little irritant to the vaginal wall okay so i would not think anything about that at all i mean unless you're having i mean some bleeding okay you know? no I mean, spotting bright red spotting like a period by all means, please call and speak to the on-call physician if it's after hours or let us know. But I wouldn't think anything about that. It's probably more from the progesterone irritating your vaginal wall okay. than bleeding like from your uterus. Okay, yeah, for good. sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, um. Okay. You're so welcome. So next step would be, um, of course, continue all your medications. And um, you have plenty of refills to so just reach out to your pharmacy. Do not run out. Okay. And then your OB ultrasound will be seven weeks, and that'll be... Okay, thank you so much. You're so welcome, dear. Let me know if you need something between now and then, okay? Sounds good. Bye. Take care, Jessica. You, uh -huh. Bye -bye. you too. Bye. Call ended. <sighs> Guys, so it's already 3, 3 p.m., and... Here, you probably couldn't see that. So it's 3 p.m. and on Friday, um, I had the lab work done at about the same time, maybe like 30 minutes earlier. Um, and she called me at 10.43. And I was waiting and waiting and it's, it was getting later. And obviously, sorry, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but it's so hot in here. Um, I had to turn up my AC, but oh, anyway, so as it was getting later in the day, I started to worry because I was, you know, obviously worst case scenarios were going through my mind and I was just gonna call her and I came in, I came to my car just for privacy um, since, you know, I do work around people. Uh, and as I was gonna call her, my phone started ringing. So it was perfect timing and <laughs> I think it's just because I was so nervous and because we, you guys know we have not had the best of luck. So I'm just so relieved right now and I just texted Eric. He told me to call him as soon as I got my number but I just sent him a text like as I was still talking to my nurse because he was as nervous and as stressed out as I was. So I just needed to let him know ASAP and I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh, so now the next step is to schedule the ultrasound at seven weeks um, and yeah hopefully we get to hear a little heartbeat <laughs> the last two times we were able to um, so uh, good things are happening guys life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights 